time tracking sucks. Most people either hate it or they don't do it or they don't do it and they hate it. But the reality is, and you probably know this if you're watching this video, is that if you don't manage your time effectively, you are not being as productive as you could be. You are throwing away hours and hours and hours. But how do you set up time tracking in such a way that it doesn't cost you a fortune and it doesn't take you all day, ironically, to track your time? In this video, I am gonna show you how in under 15 minutes to set up a free and fully automatic time tracking app that is gonna get you most of the way there in tracking your time without you lifting a finger. So, sound good? Let's go. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a free account with a very cool app called Time Camp and install the desktop app on Mac, I believe it works the same way for PC, and start tracking your time automatically pretty quickly. Okay, so first of all, we are going to have to set up an account. So I am gonna sign up with Google, because that's usually the fastest, because you don't need to create a password, you just use your Google account to authorize your registration. Oh, okay, so hey, excuse me, sorry, this is an old version. I have used Time Camp previously in the past. Let's sign up with, see if I can sign up with this guy. Another Google account, I've probably got it. Okay. Okay, cool. So we have now signed up for Time Camp. We've got a free account. And what we want to do is we want to find the desktop app. Now I have a feeling, hang on, my time. I have a feeling the desktop app is right underneath my embedded webcam. So let's just do, I sh let's just do, oh, that's not what I want, Time Camp. So I'm on Mac, so I'm just going to search for Time Camp Mac app, track, track time with our apps, or we can go to applications. Okay, so that's the, this is the page you need to see the different apps they have available, Linux, Mac, and Windows. So I, and they also have plugins for Chrome, etc. and they've also got it on mobile. So I'm downloading the Mac app, let's download it here, we'll just open that, boom. Drag that to our applications. I should really time this and see how long it takes me. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to just open that, open that app, which will be in your applications if you are a Mac user. Time camp, enabled access. Okay, so it should automatically open the right preferences pane, and I just need to unlock it and type in my password. And then I should see if I scroll down or if I search for it, I should see Time Camp in here somewhere. Hopefully. Detail system services and see what details is. Okay, I'm not sure where Time Camp would be. Okay, let's just try that again. It might have enabled it for me, but and it might be named something else in my preferences. Okay, boom. Okay, so it has worked. Oh, okay, now this is the only issue because I have logged in or signed up actually with Google. I haven't actually created a password, so I'm going to have to, to use the Mac app. I'm going to have to actually use the forgotten your password option. Boom, boom. Submit that. And then we will just check. Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll just open Gmail so I can keep it all in Chrome. Reset your login information if you've forgotten your TimeCamp password. So it's a, it's a password reset option. And what I'm going to do, I use uh, Bitwarden for, to manage my password. And I would highly recommend it to anybody. Okay, we've got an app there. Let's just use that password there. I'll 
not enough. Must contain eight characters. Okay, so we're gonna have to reset this. Let's regenerate this, and we want to have one special character, one capital letter, one digit. Okay. I wonder if it's too long. Let's see, that's 15. Let's just try going to 10. Or 8, 9 will do. Okay. Boom. Boom. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, looks like it accepted that. Okay. So that's an annoying thing with some apps with their password requirements is they don't actually tell you what those password requirements are. Okay, now we have to just figure out how to set up the uh, automatic time tracking. So, where am I? I don't remember which one is time came from these little logos. Okay, let's just, okay, oh, that's right, we have Finish logging in, excuse me. Let me show here, add our password here, save. Okay, now we should see a little icon appear up here in our menu bar. Where are you? Okay, oh, that is it right there. Sorry, excuse me, right in front of me. Okay, so we're in manual try and time tracking mode. So, what we need to do is we need to go to automatic time tracking mode, and then I have to remember how to set up. Okay, boom, get rid of this window. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, that's right. I think what we do is we go to projects. And these are all um, projects from my pre-existing account, actually. So let's add a task, add a project. So we'll set that, we'll create that new project. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to, I think we can click on it, set up automatic time time tracking, blah, 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 and enable keywords. Okay, so all we have to do is for this project, if we want our automatically tracked activity on our computer to be assigned to this project, all we need to do is come up with a keyword that can be, as it says here, it can be, um, I think it can be part of a URL, it can be an app name, it could be a calendar event description. Um, but the important thing here is if you use a super generic keyword, it's obviously going to assign lots of things that probably don't belong in this project to this project. Um, and also, if you have the same keyword assigned to two projects, TimeCamp isn't going to know how to assign it. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the keyword TimeCamp. I'm going to save that, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I'm going to come back to this in a little bit of time when, I, when the app has, the desktop app has recorded some activity from my computer automatically, and I'm going to make sure that some of that time involves the TimeCamp app, either the web app well, actually the web app and the desktop app, and hopefully what we're going to see is it's going to automatically assign those activities here as being part of the set up automatic time tracking and time camp project. And actually what I will do, I'll set up another project called, let's do that now. Where are we? Projects, 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 projects. Okay, so let's set up another one now. Uh, called add project called emails and we're going to create that and we're going to go keyword is going to be Newton because I am using actually let's add two keywords 
because I am using an email client called Newton Mail, and I can't remember if it's one word or two words, so we'll just assign those two keywords, and I will do a bunch of emailing, and then, oh, look at that, time tracking. See, it's added it automatically. Okay, so there we go. That is how you can set up automatic time tracking in TimeCamp. Now, one thing to point out, it doesn't automatically add tags, I think, from memory. Let's just go back to projects. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, tags. So you have to upgrade to Pro. You have to upgrade to a paid plan to get tags, okay? So the thing with time tracking, I find, is that Entering tags is really essential if you actually want your data to be useful. Otherwise, it tends to be fairly simple. How much time did I spend on this project or that project? Once you add tags accurately, and if your reporting allows you to filter by tags, then you can get so much more value out of your time tracking data because you can not just look at how much time did I spend on project A or project B. You can do things like how much time did I spend on email? How much time did I spend on billable tasks or billable hours rather than non-billable? But all we're trying to do for this simple exercise is set up for you guys some really simple automatic project time tracking so that time camp, as long as it's running, as long as it's open and your computer's on, um, it is going to record your time activity and it's going to assign it to projects automatically providing you have set up the appropriate keywords and that is going to be enough to give you guys a much better understanding of how much time you're spending on different projects um, so yeah that's it for now hopefully this video makes sense i have drunk an awful lot of coffee and my brain has been jumping around the place so hopefully this makes some kind of sense and do yourself a favor set up a free time camp account now download the Mac app platform you're on, set it up and add some keywords for create projects for key activities add keywords for them and let time can start reporting time for you. Even if you don't use that data at all now, I guarantee you it's going to be very valuable, but I think it's going to be valuable right now and the future if you are smart because it's going to be able to get more, get more hours out of the day if you and have a better life. Run a bit of business. Right. Sorry. Over and out, team. Hope this helps.